our uh, the rest of our pieces. Um, this is yeah, it's a really great tenor group. Do you feel it? Do you feel strong? We do. Tenor strong. <laughs> okay. There you go. So um, the goal for tonight. So we'll, we'll keep we'll keep warming up as we sing into our pieces. We want to have as much time as possible for minutes. So the goal for tonight is to go over anything that um, the way I described it as friends and is anything that is making you uh, stay awake at night. <laughs> like that's the level of concern that we want, right? So it's not um, it's not necessary. We won't have time to do everything that anybody feels that they don't know perfectly. Okay, so that's not the goal. It's um, it's and so the other thing I say is, we're gonna be in a minute. I'm going to ask you if there are any spots um, in particular that are keeping you up at night. And what's really helpful is being very specific, like saying page 22 at the bottom, those four measures, or um, measure 82 of turn, turn, turn. That kind of thing is really helpful. What's less helpful right now for time is to say, um, April comes, she will, all of it. It's like a little bit less helpful. Now that may be true, but hopefully, that, hopefully all of us all need to talk about it. Does that make sense? So um, places that are highest priority for you, and I already see it. Yep. Go ahead. The seasons of love, mm -hmm. the, um, the note that we hold, and sure. the, um, Do you have a page number? Yeah, it's, uh, 20, it's 44, measure 21. Great. No! Oh, we just hold it? Yes, and that's different from some Ooh. other times. That's right. Good. Page 44, we'll check that out. Great. Anything else in seasons of love? And then... So, can we know what the question was and the answer? No, I, you don't have to, but I'll repeat it. <laughs> Page 44, we were talking about finding the held notes, um, like in measure 21 and in measure 23, and making sure we do that correctly because those are different things. Um, and I'm writing it down, so we'll, I'll just ask you to do those parts later. But it would help so that nobody says the same thing. Go ahead. Um, this is not keeping up at night, but I'm used to try to nap in afternoon. Yes. <laughs> um, on page 46, yes. measure 41. Yep. I'm not sure if the tenors are doing here. Okay, good. Let's talk about it. What else? Other pieces, this, more things in this one? They still come to you well. Yes. The lie, the rhythm. Great. Perfect. If you come, she will, and I'm going to just write July. Okay, what else? Can we turn around? Yes. Uh, we measure 26 and 7. 26 to 7. Good. A lot of stuff that happens when we turn around with beats. Also, I don't know. I have to do it, <laughs> that may be a case. Good. Anything else? It's keeping you up at night? Yes. Right now. And, and trust me, I have a full list that we could take up our whole hour. I just want to, I want to hit your greatest hits. Good enough place to start? Yeah. Okay, let's start with Seasons of Love. There were a couple in there, so we'll look at that one too. We'll try it out. All right, so page 44. So uh, what I want to do is we'll, we'll learn page 44, and then I'll draw a little distinction for you between the two ways that we do this. Um, so let's take a look. Um, so let's get into a little bit. We're going to go, we get the tenors go. Measure, I'm in my heart. 
try that how about, that first one. for sure that follows it. Okay. So the other thing is everything is off the beat before that, so it probably is just a question of feeling the word beat is. How do you measure a year? Year should be right on the down. Yeah. And then how about love? And it's gonna feel like a really long rest because you've just been singing 16 things. How about love? Okay, now take a look please at Remember the Love. This is um, page, I'm sorry, 48, going into 48, 47 into 48, right? You see that? And this is the different one. for you what happens, and, and know that it doesn't look like this, but it is. Whatever you sing in measure 37 and in measure 39 is exactly the same as what you sing in 41. Okay? Isn't that a solo? So, we're all going to sing the lowest part in the top line. <coughs> the elbows. Okay? The bottom part is the solo. So let's, let me show you again. Here's 37. It goes like this. 37 goes. <laughs> now you're singing what looks like an alto part, but it's the same as what you just did. I would just sing the same thing three times. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's going to be the easiest way to think about it for sure. Um, you know, unless you're very serene. What, what, 
what happened is the arranger um, tried to save money and condensed a bunch of things into one page and said, you could do a solo or not, whatever. And if you don't do a solo, then it would be the whole group singing that. And then we would split up the sopranos and altos three ways and the tenors and basses would sit on there. But I didn't want to do that. So no. I want you to keep singing in that one as we go. Cool. Um, OK, is that clear enough, tenors? Yeah. So that's, a, that's an excellent thing to write in your music, even if you're not a music reader. Um, you know, putting, putting uh, like an up arrow to be like, hey, I have to look at that higher line. I do things like this. Hold on. So, um, let's see if you can see this. I don't know if you can see this like big green arrow that I put. This is just reminding me. It's just, I'm just going, I was singing down there. Now, hey, you have to look up at that other line. Just an arrow, a circle, a star, a big mark, anything that like helps you to remember. Hey, I got to look at a different part. So we're really the same at 37 and 41. Exactly. And 39 as well, because it's not written, I guess. No, well, 30, 30, it's a four measure phrase. 37 to 40 is the, the four measure phrase. This thing? <laughs> So, so look, so look, look, can I, yeah, let, let me, let me give you some advice, ready? Take your pencil, at measure 33, yep. find 33, this is page 5, yep. find 33, circle your note in 33, circle your note in 33, okay, you got it? I'm going to do it with you, ready? Hold on. I'm going to circle my note in 33 with a red circle. Like that? There's my red circle. It's okay, don't worry. Just circle your note. You can, you can see. Just circle your note. And then I'm going to write in my music. You ready? I'm going to write same thing three times. Three X is what I put. And then I'm not going to look at my music ever again. <laughs> Ever again in rehearsal, in performance, just in dress rehearsal. I'm not going to look at it ever again for the rest of this rehearsal process. I'm going to go same thing three times. I'm going to go. Until I do it three times, I'm not going to look at my music ever again. That's what I would do. Until we get to the next section. Do you understand? The more you try to go, wait, what note do I sing? Where do I go? The more you're going to be confused. It's so simple. Yeah. Sorry for our um, for our limitations in score. That's good. Thank you for clarifying. That. That's important. Okay. You feel okay? Other parts of this that are keeping us up at night? No. Next song. Turn, turn. Turn, turn. Yeah. Or turn around. Turn. Oh, turn, turn, turn. Okay. What? 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 Okay, um, page seven. Okay. Measure sixty-six. Mm -hmm. Ninety million breaks. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, right. And we promise to look at this one in rehearsal. So let's find turn, 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 page seven. I did promise. I was okay with that. I did promise. Can we do, um, we're going to go back to the top of page seven. Okay, so you start singing the tenor here. Page seven oh, yeah. after space. And I take a breath in each one. One, two, red, go. Good. So we have to have space there. We'll do this all together in the rehearsal too. But if one person carries on, then again, we're going to see Try again. One, two, red, go. Yeah, 
Right, so what happens, one of the things that makes this hard is that, again, the publisher has gone from condensing your things into one line to splitting them out. And you see those little arrows they put at the bottom of page seven? Yeah. That's telling you, hey, we're opening this up into a bunch of different lines. Um, so here's what it's gonna sound like.
can sing with the sopranos and altos here, <coughs> these notes feel comfortable for you. Nick was very specific that he wants tenor of the higher octave as written. So if, <coughs> if that range feels good and comfortable for you, give it a try right now. One, two. <coughs> good. You can get away from me, remember? And one, Oops. two. sentence answer, but let me take so let me take a look at it with you. Can you look at measure 66, for example, everybody? In general, we're gonna put a quarter note rest so that we can breathe. Like this. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Okay. Um, so like on beat two in those cases. But then the next time you only have an a quarter, a dotted quarter, and so there we'll take, uh, we'll put it on the eighth note. Turn around. Actually, we can uh, we can put it right next to it. We don't have to move it again. Turn around, and you're a young one. Do you know that? Do you know what I'm saying? We're lighting that. Yeah, on, on those ones where we don't have to breathe. So when we have to breathe, let me say it like this and see if it remains consistent. <laughs> where we have to breathe, we'll just take a quarter rest or one beat to take a breath. So the the N D sound will go on that beat, and then you breathe, and then you come back. On the commas, on the um, on the long notes. Yes, but definitely it on the commas. Happen to be typed with a comma. At yes, least in, in the line. That yeah, you I see. Working. And like, and the altos don't have it a couple times. Is the only thing I just saw it in the corner of my eye. So yes, but yes, on the commas. Yes, for tenor that seems to be exactly right. Good. Okay, feel good about that. That's lovely. Can you take a look, please, at April Come She Will? Doing great tenors. July, she will fly. How we say this star in text, right? So we have. Sort of fix, and I would cross out those words that are up at the top. What word? This is page um, 33. 33. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so, so I'm at. Um, I'm looking at July, the last note of 33. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Right. So then, um, onto the top of page 34, um, you're going to say. You're going to put she on the last beat of measure 24. Okay? And then will happens on the downbeat of the next measure. Will goes in. And we can write the words in. And I would definitely write the words in. Anybody would like to see? We're putting the word will on the downbeat of measure 25. It's just where the bases have it. Yes, perfect. Thank you. Will goes right where the bases have the word will written under their music. That's where will goes. Just is where it is. Okay, so if you're more of a, uh, an uh, audible learner, take a listen to this. July, she will fly. And it's going to be not at the same time as the sopranos. So the sopranos are going to say will, and you're going to be like, I missed it. You just missed it. 
comes in later than The Sopranos. Can we try that together? Let's go from June, middle of page 33, just so that you can be sufficiently thrown off. So technically, T U M E, um, when we sing it, we say you say tune. Um, it's the correct way to speak that word in English. The word June is a proper noun, and the correct way to speak that in English is with an U, not a G. It's like a G U N, not not so fussy. June, okay. Um, it's also got a problem here because it's a month, but also a little bit of a name. So I think we're just going to say tune, as though it were a T O O. So that it matches with June, yeah. as though we're J O O the way that most people are pronouncing it. Okay. So we're not going to put a J glide, as it's called in um, diction on the word tune. Just like, say tune. Like cartoon. So line up. Like what? Cartoon. Like cartoon, basically. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But know that I um, get fussed about that. <laughs> I'm inclined to always say, say tune when we get there. Uh, but we're going to say tune, T O O. Yeah. So we'll all do it together. Okay, try June. One more time. One, two, three, four. June. Okay? Next. 
Uh, oh, my turn now. Anybody else have other parts that are keeping them awake at night? Other songs? On the next song, we've got a friend. Yes. Measures 26 and 7. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's try the whole chorus. So this is from letter A. Pretend. Take you went down. You went way down. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Good so, question. So octave. Yeah. So we're all gonna sing the tune here together. Um, I think it's great if you can go the problem is it's gonna go which gets up pretty high. So um, my recommendation, tenors, is to go down. But I'm also happy if you pick the octave in each measure that's good for you. So you might go like this. I'll give you a look at it. This is measure 70. We're all going to sing the melody. They're not doing two, so. Letter E. Oh, this is, you've got a friend. Oh, we okay. all sing the melody. E. Okay. And we're all going to sing the melody. Um, <clears throat> but you can pick an octave that works for you. So you might go like this. So, this is the 
part that we didn't we didn't sing too much last night. Or we sang, we tried a little bit, but we hadn't learned it yet. So here we go. So the tenors, you start on this note. Listen to it once. sing it once right now. You can hear it. We're going to just sort of sing it with each other. It'll be on the recording, so if you want to go back to it, you can hear that too. So here's how it goes. Where we're starting. Measure 47. I still believe in summer days. Okay, so just listen this time. So it goes three, four. I still believe in summer days. The seasons always change. And life will find a way. I'll be your harvester of light and send it out tonight so we can start again. Is love alive? Is love alive? Is love alive? Okay, can try that with me? <coughs> On the top of page 67 measures, 
So can, yes, so can you all keep a pulse with me somehow, like tapping? I'm going to go from 51, measure 51, which is one measure before you just said. Okay, it goes like this, just listen once. I'll be your harvester of light and send it out tonight so we can start again. If we tap the pulse, we'll have a much better chance. Can you try with me? I'll be your harvester. One, two, Go. I'll be a harvester of life and send it out tonight so we can start again. Good, listen. How quick we say tonight. Tonight is the thing that has to come faster. Mm. It goes like this. And send it out tonight so we can start again. Generally, um, we think that, like, oh my gosh, there are 16th notes. And I'm late on them, and they're slow, and I'm bad at 16 minutes. What we're usually bad at is ties that come before it. So the problem is we see and send it out, and we think, oh, that's a tied note. I get to hold it forever. But it's only tied to a 16th note, which is this one. <laughs> that's it. So it's basically a quarter note. But we see a tie, and our brain goes, oh, autopilot for a long time. So that part actually goes pretty quickly. It goes, and send it out tonight. Exactly, yes. Try again. I'll be, I'll be your heart. Three, four, and go. I'll be your harvester of light and send it out tonight so we can start again. Is love alive? And you'll get that is love alive when we have chords going. Yes, do it one more time. That's pretty good. I liked that. That time I think nobody was late. Um, maybe 10% of us were early. <laughs> Which is which is better than being late um, in this moment of learning. Ready? One, two, three, four, and Time, you might remember we went for some reason they took the C away here but I think that's a mistake <laughs> and, and my estimation is they wanted to write mezzo piano and somehow didn't have space I don't know I'm not sure can you sing that the same way both times so at measure 65 can you change that note to a C on the word in a C a little bit above it. And this, a C is going to be just like what you sang if you flip back to measure 41. So take a look at measure 41 and then make measure 65 look exactly like that. Yeah. Is piano or metal? That's it. <laughs> metal piano, yeah, a little bit better. Thank you. Okay. So it's only that note on the word here. Yeah. So you just stay right on the same note. That's exactly right. I'm, I'm trying to make it easier on you, and hopefully that doesn't make it more confusing. <laughs> okay. Good. Is that clear, tenors? Yes. yes. Thank you. George, does that make sense? But uh, you'll figure okay. it out. Fine. <laughs> so George, so so George and I are going to chat about the markings, all the like weird markings that have given you. And then, um, if you have questions, you can ask me, and you can check in with George, and we can look at George's score and see what it says after we chat. <laughs> yeah, sure. Lovely. Okay. Uh, yes. 
Can we go back to pick up the 55 and do the three is level alive? Yes. So this is measure 55. And we say is love alive three times. And here is what we say. Is love alive? Let me have upper harmony. Is love alive? Is love alive? So your note is getting higher at the end each time. Let me try that. One, two, and go. Is love alive? Is love alive? Is love alive? Five minutes, can we do one more? Time flies when you're having fun, right? You have six minutes. That clock is fast. <laughs> or I don't have my glasses. Um, uh, six minutes, let's four. see. Hold on. Can we look at uh, Ashokan Farewell? Uh, <laughs> and go to page 87. This is my thoughts will return. Right. I'm going to play your part here for a minute. We haven't done this too much, but more of this. This is my thoughts. going to sing that first chord and not sing the second chord that oh, follows it. Okay. If you mark that in your score, you can cross it out, but do it lightly in pencil, just in case something changes. Okay. <laughs> right. We're just going to hold the, as of right now, that's the, that's the advice. Just going to hold the previous note. But if you flip ahead to the next page, do you see where I've drawn the bracket? At the bottom of the next page, measure yeah. 46. Mm -hmm. And there's an ooh that happens there that I want to try with you. Okay. So the soprano maltos will sing the melody. Okay, and we're gonna go. Take a listen to it once. It goes uh, with a different key now. Uh -huh. Bottom of page 89. 
bottom of page 89. <laughs> yes. Measure 46. Got it? Mm -hmm. After the bracket. And one, two. Okay, tenors? Yep. Mm -hmm. You sound great. You're doing a really great job. You look like you don't believe me. <laughs> is, it just, is it just 8 o'clock? Okay. All right. Okay, fine. You're doing a really great job. Keep it up. Be strong and confident. Thank you. 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 